Hi there everyone, my name is Keith Crawford and I'm going to model a really important skill for the 21st century for your students. Uh, according to the ministry docu document Think Literacy Library Research, one of the skills students should be able to do in research is make informed judgments about the reliability of resources needed for research. The goal of this mini lesson is for students to co-construct criteria that will help them make sound judgments about resources needed for their research in the future. The internet and social media in particular is full of misleading content, and I'm sure your students are more than familiar with the term fake news. For junior students, I like to pretend that we are training them to become internet super sleuths. I feel like engaging them in a fun way and play in a playful lesson would help them understand how important it is to critically look at the information that is out there. First, we start by analyzing a ridiculous media example that makes preposterous claims so that students can begin orally communicating why resources should and shouldn't be trusted. Three fun examples that I've used in the past is this short hoax produced by BBC called The Spaghetti Harvest in Ticino. Spaghetti cultivation here in Switzerland is not, of course, carried out on anything like the tremendous scale of the Italian industry. And also there's the famous House Hippo commercial that I'm sure some of your students might already be familiar with. The North American House Hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen, but they will defend their territory if provoked. And then I particularly like this preposterous picture from Breaking News, Irma now contains sharks. So I'm going to choose this Breaking News, Irma now contains sharks picture. I like starting with this picture of Irma in an open discussion because it usually has a lot of students laughing and making connections to Hollywood movies they are familiar with. Following the discussion, I asked students to share whether or not that they feel this resource is credible and ask them to analyze why. After a brief discussion and some guiding questions, students work on chart paper in groups and we try to elicit criteria about why we shouldn't trust this picture. After we regroup, the students present their ideas to each other and I jot down some criteria that helps guide our judgments in evaluating resources. A fun follow-up lesson idea might be to have the students create their own breaking news images. They can use collaborative tools such as Google Slides. They can also access the databases of Creative Commons share-alike pictures or even use pictures of themselves. This way it shows the students how easy it is to make a misleading news image and that way they will be never fooled again and they have graduated from the training of how to be an internet super sleuth. 